Hi guys, it's me Danielle, Danny Buttons, and I'm here with my April coloring wrap up. I can't believe April's over already. This really, like this year's going, it's going quick. I did, a little, nope, 12 pages this month, but I have been in the biggest color by number kick in my coloring career, if we can call it that. 11 out of the 12 pages were color by number. So we'll see how this goes. If you watched my video last month, you'll saw, you'll saw, you'll have seen, you will have seen, yeah, that I got this book and brought it on my recent cruise and it got drenched. Well, luckily I purchased another one. So I managed to get the first four mosaics done again. And it's gonna be my new goal to finish this book probably in June. So, oh, this book is the Mosaic Color by Number Mandala by Sun Life Studios, Sun Life Drawing. So that's your color palette. Every page has the same 22 colors to choose from, which is nice because I've just taken a set of Statler markers that I had, I think it was the 36 set, and now I have the 72. So with the 36 set, I put the first 22 into a tiny pencil case and I just keep it with this book. Um, and I numbered all the markers themselves and I got the first four done. One, I just love these. I've, I don't have any other mandala books, so I've just been seeing mandalas around so much, obviously, that I wanted one and I thought this was a good place to start. And now of course I want a whole bunch more. So two, three. My biggest trouble with mandalas is picking colors. So this obviously gets most of that done for me. So I appreciate it for that. And four, I love this one the most so far. So I expect to be continuing in this, possibly not that much in May, and I'll tell you why in a little bit, but if not, definitely in June. I think there are only 25 in here. Does it say it? There are 30 in here. So I think I'm going to attempt to finish this by the end of June, and this will be my first finished coloring book. That is my goal. So, okay. I did two more in Color Quest, which again, if you saw last month, I think I did six or seven last month. I still have been very into this. This is also kind of in the running to be my first finished book, but these pages are massive. I can't get my camera out any farther safely or still be pointing it at my desk. So this is as good as we can get, but these pages are huge. So I did two in here this month. I did both of them for my friend Brittany's color along on Instagram. <sighs> She's gonna see this again and be mad at me because I never remember her Instagram handle. B Maz XO, I hope. <sighs> I'm sure you've seen her on Instagram. And if you haven't and you've seen me, she usually likes a lot of my pictures, which I super appreciate. So you can find her that way. So the two I did, her birthday was just in April, April 24th, happy birthday. And she did a color along for bees and sunflowers. And this book happens to have both. So I did the bee page. I love it. Good times. And recently in this book, I've also been using my Statlers which has been helpful. I, again, now have the 72 pack, but before I got that, I was using my 36 pack and everything was going okie dokie. And I also did the sunflower page. So, <clears throat> as you can see, this is the two styles within the book. Basically, every page has different shape shapes to color in, but some of them, the pattern is continuous. So you can kind of see that all of these next to each other are gonna be blue and color a big space. And some of them, each shape is into an individual shape. So you kind of have to be more precise about it. And I love this book. So I'm really looking forward to wish listing and purchasing in the future the other two Color Quest books. But if I'm honest, if you're only going to get one, I recommend this one because it definitely has a little bit of everything. The other two are called Color Quest Animals and I think Color Quest Landscapes. It might be Color Quest Cities, but 
This is definitely my favorite because it has all of everything in here. Uh, nice taste of it all. I wish they would come out with like Color Quest patterns and then I might get that one first, but it's still a lot of fun no matter what. Okay, now everything but the last one are all from my Disney books. I have recently made a purchase for four more French Disney coloring books. I have a problem. And that problem is I have too many French Disney coloring books. So this month I did, let's see, 12 minus four is eight minus two is six. So five pages? I should probably just call it, count it this easy way. I don't know, I did a bunch of pages from these books. And in May, I'm really hoping to do a whole bunch more. So what I decided to do is have a theme for the whole month of May. And in the past I've done this and I would do like fish for July because it's summertime or just any sea themed Disney movie or I do in November I always do princesses because my birthday is in November and it makes me think of princesses. Also I just touched the microphone and forgot where it was so I hope that's not incredibly annoying. But I've decided to do something different. So for the month of May my goal is to color possibly a page a day that's the goal we'll see if that happens and I'm going to do all 90s movies and I actually random number generated that there's technically eight decades worth of Disney movies to choose from and my Alexa picked number six which is the 90s so I'm I have 11 Disney movies to choose from and that's where I'm going to be doing pages and I'm super looking forward to that and I actually started one in this book, which I'm going to continue after I film this video. So all that to say, this month they were pretty random, except I did end up doing two bunny theme pictures because of um, Easter. So let's see what I actually completed in here. If you have never seen these books from me before, I'm sh you must never have watched any of my videos, which welcome then. <laughs> Glad to have you here. But these are basically mystery color by numbers and if you can see an empty page you have no idea what that's going to be until you're done or you can kind of cheat in the back and see what the answer is which I do do only because sometimes these lines are crazy and it's hard to see and you don't want to miss anything. So um, I always personally do the black outline first so I can kind of see what I'm working with and it's more segmented and then I'll color everything else in. So this is Baymax from Big Hero 6 and I colored him with my Statler markers. I've been trying to do my markers in these books because one it goes a lot quicker and I just sometimes I'm in the mood for speed. That's what I like about color by number. I don't have to sit and think for hours and hours which I do. I'm an overthinker and two these books are also pretty large so I was using color pencils but I was I was grinding them down real quick especially like skin tones. So Baymax from Big Hero 6 all that chatting for that. I also plan when I get my new books to do a flip through of the new ones. So if you're interested, I think, well, I know I have a flip through of the answer key for, I want to say the first four or five books on my channel already. It's all in one. I think it's called Disney French coloring books. I'm going to try to link it. I never remember to link it, but that is my goal. So we'll see. But if you're interested, look out for that. I also purchased these on Amazon UK and the new ones I just purchased on Amazon France because I was impatient and one of them is super brand new. Anyway, tomb four. Let's see what I did in here. I don't really remember what's, which pictures from which book, so it's kind of a surprise. Aha. So this, I think, is Yzma from Emperor's New Groove 2 which I think was called Cusco's New Groove. Tomb 4, book 4, is not my favorite because there is a ton of sequels in this book. So if you are into the sequels, great. This one might be perfect for you. But I didn't know before I bought that. I might have skipped it. Honestly, I might not have because I just at this point I'm collecting them. But anyway, I did this. This seems super Easter to me with the bunny and the little chick. Also, Sam's just making a lot of noise. Excuse you. Don't you giggle. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I apologize for him. No, it's fine. Um, yeah, did this with my markers too. Book two. 
This one is my favorite of them all in my personal experience and preference. So if you're only going to get one, I recommend this one. This one has Winnie the Pooh and then the other ones so far have. So maybe that's why. But this month I did this guy from Robin Hood who I also forget his name right now. It might be just like little guy or something like that. So there that one is and I've already finished that one as you can see and there you can see the difference this I did in color pencil this I did in marker this is one of the times that I was pressing really hard which there's some other times that I don't press as hard for example there's scuttle on the next page and you can definitely tell that's color pencil but um there it is there they are thought it was pretty cute with these, the only hard part is matching the colors because obviously for especially a character's face, for instance, you can tell if you're off, it looks kind of bad. But for the background, it's not as big a deal, but I think it looks good and it looks even better on camera. So there's that one. Okay, this one, I'm managing to make this wrap up real long. I'm impressed with myself, I guess, or sorry if you don't like long wrap ups, but this one, I have not completed a page in here until this month. Um, this one doesn't have the thick black lines like the other ones do. Here's a work in progress. As you can see, almost no black. I finished all the black in this page first, and it's really just their eyeballs. So this has not been my favorite. But on Instagram again, I don't want to pronounce your name wrong. Uh, Lavella? Lavella? Uh, coloring was doing a color your hoard challenge where you started to make a dent in the uncolored books that you have and I have or I had 19 now I have 18 so I decided to do it and get one done and I picked princess dot from a bug's life and I picked this one because it had the fewest amount of colors so I thought it would be a good place to start this book is much more about shadowing and not the black lines. So the only black on this page is her eyes and her eyelashes. And it's not my favorite style, but I know Princess Dot's really cute. And this one worked out really well because I had all the colors. It's harder with um, skin tones too, because again, when you're doing the shadowing, if you're off, it could look real weird. So, but I'm happy to have gotten a page done in this book and I'm going to try to be less afraid of it going forward. There's a little sneak. See all the faces? so many faces but yeah okay and mickey donald and co i really love this one um it really has mickey throughout all of his years and later it has some of the other characters like donald and daisy etc etc minnie mouse goof my man plutes i did these both of these pages this month let's see if we can see them at the same time it is the first two pages in the book i just wanted something nice and easy and cute so mickey's head in front of all the cartoons and steamboat willie i just thought those were fun and they were fun so i'm happy to do more in this book too because last year i did let's see if i can find it quick i did the outlines for a bunch of them and i didn't fill them in so this year i'm gonna have to go back and actually color them but the outlines are my favorite part Shh. so Okay, and now we are up to my favorite page in my favorite book. I love it so much, and it is the only non-color by number I managed to do this month. This is Sagor Ock Sagner by Emily Oberg. Oh, I love this book. I wanted it for so long and never pulled the trigger because of the shipping. I think it's from Sweden. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you all know. And then it went out of stock and I was so sad and I begged her on Instagram and I emailed the publishers and I did everything I could to get it back and they announced it was coming back and I bought it the first day. So I'm savoring this book and for this book I'm trying to like go in page order. So I did page three. I need to get a uh, solvent or fix it in to, to set them but for now I just have this to protect my mice on the next page. <gasps> I love this page so much. You can see the glitter I used. So I did ink tents for the flowers and the background. And then I did Prismacolor for her skin and hair. And I did glitter gel pen for her whole crown 
and all the accents on her clothing. Let's see, can I zoom in? Yeah, cool. Do you see how glittery that is? These are the Color It Glitter Gel Pens and they're amazing. They're so sparkly. I will say they do rub off, not like bleed, but you get the glitter. So I don't mind that. And it hasn't really gotten on my next page, but even then I wouldn't mind it because I love the glitter and I want it everywhere. But that if that bothers you, maybe they're not the best, but they're so glittery that to me it's worth it. So I absolutely love, love, love this page. This is the first time I ever tried to get fancy at all in the background, and it's not even that fancy, but I was pretty proud of it. So there's my polka dots. So I can't wait to do this page next because I'm just going in order. I actually did do one other page in here. I did a color, a, um, a buddy color with my friend Brittany, and she let me pick a page. Well, she gave me a few choices and I picked the page. So I feel like that's okay to go ahead. But otherwise, I just wanna go in order because you know when you like have a book that you love, but you don't love every single page because how can anyone love every single page? I don't wanna skip any page because I don't wanna like finish all the pages I love and then only have pages I don't love. So I probably wouldn't have done this page because I don't like birds and I might've skipped it for that. But I think this came out so pretty and I love it so much. So that's it. That is my entire stretched out wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. Again, hopefully next month you will see a ton of Disney coloring from me. Maybe one or two others thrown in there, but I don't know what I'm gonna have time for. But Stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment if you want to chat with me, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!